tube. Today we're going to be using these lids. Ooh, lots and lots of lids. What we're going to be doing is pretty much the same as what we did with the foot the other day, but we're going to make a hand. This like this one. This is the one of my daughter's hand we did. But we're going to make a bigger one. Ha. Put that aside. This one. A big hand. Right. Basically the same process as what we did with the um, with the foot. Basically we got the two part two part moulding odd bod. We mix it up, part A, part B. This is a uh, one from um, uh, Barnes Pink Sill called Odd Bod. This is part A and part B. Mix, mix the same ratio depending on how much you want to do. And all you do is you just paint it on the hand, wait till it dries, put another another couple of coats on. You want at least a few coats, so at least you have the right thickness. And once it's dry, just pull your hand out. You might need a hand by some someone else to give you a hand, but there you go. Then you've got a hand, a big hand. My daughter's hand was a small hand. I'll find that. Show it to you. This one was my daughter's hand. It burnt a bit towards the end, but it come out. So the mould possibly could be reused again, but it just needs a bit of fixing on it. Did my wife's hand? Whoa, looks a bit freaky, doesn't it? The, the thing of the past. The. Anyway, yeah, so the same process. Put it on. Mix two parts. Paint, paint it on. Let it dry. Then pull it off. What I'd normally do is... I'd have the oven the standard way up, but since this is really big and won't fit in the oven, we have to compromise and basically turn the oven on its end, open it up, and put it in. Once we'll fill the mold first, then we'll put it in. First, we got to tape it down. Make sure the oven doesn't move. We'll get some gaffer tape and we'll do that now. What I've done is I've got the gaffer tape. I've ran it around the oven, around the board, around the oven a couple of times. Hopefully that will keep it sturdy. So we then can um, open the door in and out without it, the oven sliding off the back of the board. It's just a, just a breadboard, cutting board. The wife thought it was too big for the kitchen so I have it as a hobby board now. Yay for me. The process will be pretty much the same as doing the foot. Okay. But this time what we're going to be doing is we're going to stay away from these um, black colours because the black colours are the ones that sort of ruin the foot. Okay. I can't, I can't make another one of the... Well, I can make another one of these feet, but... Um, the mould's been destroyed because it just got stuck coming out of the mould and then again my child ripped the mould apart so there you go. Oh anyway, no, I can do another one. Oh anyway, no, so basically the basically the thing is that we want to stay away from dark colours. So basically the thing is that we just need to decide on what colours we're gonna go for. Because if we're gonna go with a we're going Basically, we're going to do the fingers first. So, basically, what um, all the lids are in a in a bath of water. Okay, so um, that's just to try and get any um, foreign sediments out of the lid, like any milk residue or anything like that. So, but before you put them in the um, Put them in the mold just make sure that there's no um, obvious bits hanging out because you don't want to really put that in the mold all right so 
Hopefully my tape isn't melting, maybe. Maybe it might be. Hopefully it doesn't melt. We'll have to see how it goes. So basically the idea is we need to, um, it's either how you want to do the hand, it's whether you want to layer the hand in different, different um, color graduations, stacks of color, you do rainbow hand, you do just a mix of colors, put some green, some gold, some whatever in. So I'm not 100% sure yet. But what we, what we want to do is we want to stay away from these black ones. And the, dark, the darker colors most likely be the black ones. I've got a lot of blue. Yellow, yellow works out quite well. Um, pink works out good, good as well. Orange, look at the orange. Whoa, whoa. Anyway, we might use some orange. Some gold. We use pretty much all the colours. Probably we'll just leave the black out. Alright, next next stop is putting the the lids into the uh, mould. I've bought this uh, mould release. I don't know if this is a good brand or, or what. I got it from the local um, barns here in Brisbane. Okay, so we're going to try this to see if this will um, release our uh, our hand from the mould. I'm just going to spray this into the mould. First time using this, so maybe should angle it away from the oven. Trying to get it down into the... All right, we'll give that a go and see what it's like. This process that is going to take a long time. I will give regular updates how we're going. Basically what I'm doing now is just trying to decide on what, what colors I'm gonna use. I'm cutting some gold ones up to start off with. Maybe it might be gold fingers. Mm. Okay. Basically the idea is you try and be lucky enough to try and drop it in the, get it into, I've just put it into the thumb. Just try and drop it into the different fingers. So the first first gold bits are done. Then we'll put it in the oven. We'll let that melt down. And then we'll put some more colours in. We can have a look at the hand now. See, as you, you can see just on this back side over here, I filled it to the top and we've got some orange marks. That's just basically the plastic's been melting and, and it's going down into the mould. There's some pink, pink's melting, going down. You can see the greens starting to melt now. Small pink. Um, the gray starting to go. And if you look carefully, you can see right down into the mold. Yeah, so I don't know how much down the bottom it's gone down, but it's it's looking good so far. Anyway, what we do is we let it let it settle some. I mean, let it melt. Then put some more in. Let it melt again, and I just keep doing the process until it's up as far as you you want it to go. Then just let it um, cook for another probably hour or so to try and get the bubbles out, if there are any. All right. Next update later. Today I have an update on the hand. 
All right, so my concerns about the plastic going down and reaching all the fingers um, are all okay because the plastic did did go down and uh, get into the fingers. I only have a tiny bit left to do. I'm thinking the last color I'll do is gold on the top for the bottom bottom bit of the hand. And that should be alright once we've once we do it. But anyway, some of the um, some of the plastics is um, taking a bit more time to melt. So all in all, this is probably taking about three days in total to do. You melt some, then you um, let it drop down, then you put some more in, then you melt some more, then that drops down, then you melt some more, and drops down, and, and such and such. So this is all we've got left. Just this last little bit. So I'll do that with gold. Then once that's done, we should be able to then leave it for a bit longer, and let some of the bubbles escape the ones that have been caught in there oh, yeah. I've taken so, the, um, the hand out of the oven and I've let it cool and now it's just basically get rid of that just you gotta check, feel, to see if the plastic's all gone down into the fingers. Otherwise, if you take it out of the mould, you won't have a finger. Or the finger will be partly done. So you wanna make sure. And now, basically, we have to take it take the hand out of the mould I'll now have to figure out a good way to get it out of the mould because it seems to be that it is rather stuck but if you can try and like this seems to be breaking a bit Maybe we have to do some sacrificial cutting to maybe it just could be that that layer there that's getting stuck. It peels off rather easy. But if you can, you don't want to... It might be just the thing is that it'll be a one-shot mould. You probably may not be able to use these moulds again once you've made them used it especially with the plastic the idea is if you can get down into it that'd be good it does have a bit of give, so which is good. If you can get down in there. Pushing the paintbrush down. Hmm. Yes, yeah, not sure if that mould releases the, the best one either. Or maybe the whole thing is just a once off deal
There you go. So sometimes you just got to pick your battles to fight. I was wanting to try and get the mould out and keep the mould, but possibly I'll just have to. It'll be a sacrificial lamb. But if we can go so far. But we don't want to we don't want to cut too far into the into the mould. Otherwise we'll have lines in our hand. Cut lines in our hand, so if you're just gentle my paintbrush was good, wasn't it? If you can Basically the idea what I'm doing now is if I can cut between here and down here should be able to peel the hand away get easier access and it might just peel away well, that's hoping anyway Unless it's just going to not be nice. And all just going to get stuck. Hmm. Do we have a hideous hand underneath here? I don't know. Just depending on how the plastic went. Mm. Depending on how the plastic mixed. Just going to be a one shot mould. Looks like it. It's just stuck. Oh, maybe another mould. Oh, well. here we go. Looks like we'll just have to pull, pull it off. I've used all sorts of colours. The only colour I haven't used is black. But will the colours that I chose will it mix into make black? Just be careful boys and girls. The knife, I'm using it without, a, without any protection, so just make sure you don't cut yourself if you did, if you were used, doing the same. I don't want to cut too deep because I don't want to make marks on my fingers. Remember this plastic is rather resilient and rather strong. 
you can you can throw it you can, you could throw this hand into a bath of acid and it wouldn't be a problem it'll still be there when every other thing gets dissolved this will still be around it's rather cool but the plastic thing can be a bit hard to work with especially like gluing it it's rather cheap to um, to get just from milk bottles lids well not just milk bottle lids you can use as long as it's been plastic injected then you're fine because it has the same properties mostly the plastic that's HDPE which is which is blown molded doesn't have the same properties HDPE is a resin Oh no, my skin's coming off. It looks like I'll be shaving for the next week. I've been picking for a while to get the uh, silicon off the hand. It really, really got destroyed. This bit here is probably the only bit that really come out... Um, come off not too bad but other than that the whole the whole thing's just cactus <laughs> basically it's a once off mold we know basically this is my hand oh look it's black oh bit goldish goldish looking but yeah I didn't I didn't actually physically use any black in the mold itself so not a hundred percent sure how how it went black maybe it was too many mixing of colors but I know I did use brown so that's definitely a brown um, are there are there flaws in the mold in the model, yes, uh, you can see all my skin, the divots. Backside looks pretty good, the colors through here. Yeah, little disappoint, little 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 disappointed, but all in all, that the process works. I think possibly I just used. Too many, too many colours. Maybe if I just sort of standardise on oh, a few different base colours, then probably wouldn't we wouldn't have got black fingers. Or maybe I might stay away from gold. You know, here's I finished it off with a bit of gold at the end here. Yeah. Well, anyway. Lessons learnt when moulding the hand. Well, stay away from dark colours. Also, try and find a better way of supporting the hand. Supporting the mould while it's upside down. I had I had issues with the with my finger here. Looks a bit squished in there. All right, it was when I was sitting in the mold. When I was sitting in here. Sitting in there, it was sitting on that finger. And it was sitting on the finger cause the mold 
uh, presses, rubber, well not rubber, silicon, it then transfers through to your actual um, article. Okay, I've had, um, had a bit of a hole here. It's just the plastic didn't really have time to um, go in there. Not 100% sure why it happened, but it did. Um, another error with the, um, the mould is my thumb just here. It's another one that's, um, I think, possibly due to the sitting in the um, mould like that. Sitting in that. So basically the silicon's been pressed in and that's how my thumbs come out. Lessons learnt. Well, another thing is that you need to try and support the hand. Um, if you are going to put it in in here or in a in a container possibly put it in some sand and that way it'd support the whole mold yes my advice if you wanted to make your own hand stay away from the darker colors and possibly just stick to a couple of colors that way you won't get dark fingers like mine. Anyway, or using um, milk lids. If you get more of these purple ones, that'd be pretty good. Anyway, anyway, I still, still more of the um, silicon to peel away but that's an ongoing process anyway there you go hand my daughter's little hand was much better coming up better than mine i only used a couple of standard colors on that one and it worked out quite well anyway there you go Mold and make your own hand. See ya. Bye.